If you are welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be discussing the problem how to implement a stack using queues. So basically, what is a stack? Stack is a data structure which implements a last in first out kind of a thing, and queue is a data structure which implements first in first out. Let's understand in short. Imagine this is your stack. Okay, imagine this is your stack, and I say push of three to be the first operation. I say push of four to be the second operation. I say push of two to be the third operation. So push of three goes here. Push of four goes here. Push of two goes here. Right after that, when I say top, since it's a stack, it follows last in, first out, which was last entered. Two was last entered to the stack. So the top will be two. Let's imagine I say pop. Now pop means deletes, deletes. So this one will be deleted. Yes, this one will be deleted. After that, if I say top, yes, after that, if I say top, what was the last in before two? Four. So four is at the top. So last in, first out. It checks in this direction. That's how a stack works in C++ as well as in Java. Now let's understand what is a queue. Let's take this queue and let's take the same operations. So first three will get in, then four will get in, then two will get in. Now, whenever someone says, "Give me the topmost element," yes, whenever someone says, "Give me the topmost element," first in, first out, which is first in, three. So the topmost element this time becomes three. So over here, it is seen in the upper direction. So if I say pop, pop means this three will go off. Then if I say another top, it will mean this four. So it works in the opposite way. It works in a first in, first out the queue stack in last in, first out. So the question is, if you implement stack using queues in C++, there is an STL for stack. In Java collection, there is definitely stack. But I have to implement it using the queues. Yes, we have to implement stack using queues. We cannot use a stack. Let's see how will that work. So in order to implement stack, we will be requiring a couple of queues, Q1 and Q2. So whenever there is an operation push of three, we are going to follow these steps. And while explaining, I'll tell you why these steps work. So it says push of three. So it says add x to q2. So add three to q2. Done. Now q1 to q2. All the elements of q1 should go into q2. But I don't have anything, so nothing will go. Swap q1 to q2. So swap this. So all the elements over here will simply come over here. So I've swapped it. So push of three is done. Okay. Now let's do push of four. Again, four means add four to Q two. All elements from Q one to Q two, all elements. So this three will go over here. Next, swap Q one to Q two. This one will go here. So three and four will come here. Perfect. Next, push of two. Push of two means add two to Q two. Add two to Q two. Now, element by element. So which is the top element of Q one? The top element is four. So first. Four will go element by element. Then three will go because Q works in this direction. So you have taken everything, right? After that, swap. So if you swap it, two, four, three will come across. So push of two is done. Next, push of one. When I say push of one, it means add one to Q two. You have added one to Q two, correct? Then element by element. So first two will go, then Four will go. If you do Q dot top, you'll get these elements. So everything has gone. Now swap. So if you swap, you'll get one, two, four, three. Now this operation is done. Let's say someone is asking you the top, topmost element. So the topmost element will be the top of Q. So that's one. Makes sense because stack is nothing but last in first out operation, which is last inserted one. So when you say top, you get the last inserted element. Pop, remove this guy. Top, you get two. Again, makes sense because before one, two was inserted. So this is how the stack will work with the help of couple of queues. Now, in order to remove, very simple, remove the top of Q1. That is what I've done. So you will be requiring couple of queues. Now, if I talk about the time complexity of the pop push operation, the time complexity of the push operation is definitely we go of n over here. Because I'm swapping element by element, and the space complexity is near about we go of n because you're requiring couple of queues. That's two n, 
and then you will be swapping so you will be requiring one more third variable so near about 10 i can say that's the time complexity and space complexity in order to implement stack using queues so we talk about the code can i see the code will be something like push it will take a value x and right after that what it will do is it will first insert to q2 so insert it to q2 so x is inserted to q2 now element by element from q1 so the q1 has to be not empty so if it is not empty yes if it is not empty element by element so q2 will take the top element of q1 that's q1 dot front or top whatever you can call it it will take it and right after that what it will do is q1 dot pop so element by element has been traveled traverse to transfer to q2 right after that you have to swap so swap is a very simple one you can say swap of q1 q2 and be requiring a third variable you can definitely write it yourself so this is how the pseudo code for push will look and if i ask you about the pop pop is very simple q1 dot pop if you write this pop works and if i ask top again very simple you can directly return whatever is at the front or top of q1 so just return whatever is at the front so this is how all the three functions can be written. moving on to the next part of the video let me tell you about coding ninjas now coding ninjas is one of the largest coding education company and they have taught around 50k plus students now they offer you courses in programming in different languages like c plus plus java python they also have courses for machine learning android development data science and web dev the content quality is exceptional as it is made by experts from IIT, Stanford, Amazon and Facebook. They do offer you one is to one doubt resolving support and the average doubt solving time that they take is, is literally the best in the market. Now since the courses are really well structured and so many have benefited from it, I guess you should give it a try and if you feel so, do use the link in the description to avail a discount which will be added above the one which is already present in the website so guys go and check now it. as you saw the previous solution was using couple of queues but can we actually implement stack using a single queue yes we can let's see how so we're going to take a single queue let's assume this is my single queue that i take what's the first operation push of three just just push three okay what's the next operation push of two so what you're going to do is you're going to push two into it okay you have pushed it right after that right after that whatever is the queue size the queue size is two the queue size is two as of now one lesser than that for once take the topmost element and push it again so if you do this the guy who was at the top will not come back did not understand no issues let's proceed further these two operations are done push of four so add 4 what's the size of the queue the size of the queue is 3 so take two elements first this top element push then this one push so ultimately you will have 3 2 4 and if you carefully observe 3 to 4 is the way yes stack is nothing but last in first out so if you do a top this will be the Four. This is guy. Yes, it's working. Next, push of one. So I'll take this one and you'll push it over here. What is the size? Size is four now. Top three elements. First, top four goes here. Next, top two goes here. Next, top three goes here. So you will have one, four, two, three. So let's write that out. One, four, two, three. Now, if I ask you, Push of 1 is done. Now, if I ask you the topmost, ideally should be 1. Is it? Yes. If you do a Q dot top, that's a 1. If I ask you pop, pop it. Next, if I ask you top, ideally before 1, it's 4. So, ideally should be 4. Yes, it is. So, I can also implement stack using a single queue. Yes, using a single queue, it can also be implemented. Now, if I ask you uh, to implement the code, can I say it's a very simple one? If I ask you push of x, you will say q1 dot push x. That's done in the first step. Once you have done that, what is your next step? Very simple. Whatever is the size, I treat till one less than that. Q dot size 
one lesser than that iterate till there. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to say q dot push of q dot top. You push whatever is over here and you remove this top guy. So this is how the push operation is going to look like. And if I ask you about the pop operation, very simple. It's typically going to be q1 dot pop. If I ask you the top operation, obviously it's going to be q dot top what you're going to return. So these are the functions that you can definitely do it. Again, the time complexity of push operation is going to be big O of n. The space complexity this time is a big O of n only because you're using a single Q. So that's the optimization that I can do by implementing stack using a single Q. So guys, I hope you've understood both the approaches. Just in case if this question is asked in an interview, first see the couple of Qs approach, then optimize it to the one Q approach. Okay, don't just jump into one Q approach. So I hope you've understood both of them. Just in case you did, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, please do consider subscribing. With this, uh, let's wrap up this one. Bye-bye, take care. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever